Wahoo! Glacier National Park, Road to the Sun. Don't pay any attention to that goofball that's going to the Sun Road. We're in Montana, way up there near Canada, up there in the left-hand corner. The map here shows the brown marking is the going to the Sun Road. It starts there from the west entrance of the park, clear up around and to the St. Mary entrance, uh, which is the uh, east entrance to the park. I'm going to suggest that you uh, consider doing Apgar Village, and I'll show you why in a minute, as a place to stay. Um, you're only going to be able to go on the road uh, without cars uh, before they open it, and that can vary from year to year. You can go on their the National Park site and find out when it opens each year. Uh, for cars, so we like to take it when there are no cars. Uh, but they're having to clear it uh, until about the 1st of July. Sometimes it's earlier in June when the whole road opens to cars, sometimes it's later. We stayed, well, we started at Avalanche Creek Campground. That's where you could drive to and then have to park and then could start taking the road from there. And we were able to go up, uh, I think about eight miles up to the loop where you see here. That's where we had to, to stop. They were still clearing the road. But the whole road from west entrance to St. Mary's, the east entrance, is 50 miles uh, if you were going to take the whole thing. But usually you start earlier up, like uh, as I said, Avalanche Creek, and go probably all the way to Rising Sun, which is probably about 30, 36 miles. We were not able to do that. Uh, it was too early in the season. This is a June 17th, 16th. So we would have had to wait a couple of weeks longer to get the whole road open for uh, for bicycles before they opened up the road, and that's what we would recommend. Uh, don't take it when there's cars, but I, I still think they will let you if you wanted to, but you do it before it opens for vehicle traffic. Here's the reason why I'm suggesting to stay at Apcar Village, at the Apcar Village Inn. That's your view off your porch. Uh, there's the motel, uh, two floors, and there's what you can look at. So just a great place to stay. A cute, small little village, a couple of restaurants, and uh, other little motels that are not on the lake that you can choose from. But uh, I suggest you might look into the village inn at Apgar Village. So this is uh, the campground at Avalanche Creek where you'll be able to park and uh, start your bike ride from this point, depending upon the season. So everyone's parked there. There's the barrier that doesn't let you go up the road any further except with your bikes. And there's what it's like. A whole paved road, uh, all yours, no cars. These are the sites. Behind uh, the trees, but there, he's in the as the runoff comes, flathead. it's waterfalls everywhere into the Flathead Lake, the Flathead the River that flows down there. Just lots of places to stop. And uh, as you can see just the beautiful scenery opportunities. There are restrooms every so often, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but just a tremendous time here in the spring runoff before it gets uh, you know, open, open to cars. Um, again, the road is all asphalt. Uh, it can get cold because, uh, you know, they're still clearing snow up here, so you have to come prepared to either warm weather or having it to uh, get to be cold or it could possibly even rain, but we got there on a, on a beautiful day, 60 degrees uh, most of the way. It was just a very comfortable ride. Uh, there are people coming down the other way, so you just keep to the right. Can't even describe it. Everything you see that's a white line is waterfalls, hundred of them. And yet it's sunny and the birds are singing. Coming off the glacier. So the Flathead River is what comes out of Glacier National Park in the Flathead Lake. And uh, you follow that a good portion of the race. But again, there's waterfalls just uh, everywhere coming off uh, all parts of the mountain. It makes it quite spectacular. Um, and this is just an example of one little close by. But across the valley, you get the green, green. Uh, there's the Flathead River down below, so you do leave it after a while. As you climb, you do have uh, an elevation climb, so you want an e-bike unless you're in great shape with a 10-speed. So we, of course, have our e-bikes, and uh, it's 
uphill for most of the way. Uh, it's flat for a little bit out of Avalanche Creek where you start, and then uh, as it follows the river, and then it starts to climb up the mountain. So you're right next to the rock face, and on the other side is a, uh, uh, some, sometimes it's a steep precipice, other times it's a gradual fall off. But here's the, uh, uh, the one of the only tunnels uh, on going to the Sun Road, which is quite an engineering marvel. But we cut little window holes into it. We get water coming off everywhere that uh, that you can. So at the top, well, at the loop, where uh, it's a big U shape, and you go up the mountain the way we have to stop. You can take this trail called the Loop Trail. Just a hundred yards uh, up the road, up the trail, there's this beautiful bridge and this great waterfall. And the trail goes a long ways. You can hike like 15 miles, but that's so that's for hikers. But this is the view, the uh, what you get at the loop, and it's as far as you could go at this time of the, at, you know, this particular day, and then they're clearing the road further up. But you know, the the whole road is another, uh, you know, usually the opening is about 36 miles. Uh, so some other day we'll we'll take that. But one of the most spectacular rides that you uh, can can ever take, and you don't have to fight far.